I've spent my life studying a very rare and fatal disease called nephropathic cystinosis. Cystinosis is a disease that was described in 1907 by an Austrian pathologist, Abner Halden, and it results from, as we now know, a failure of transport of the chemical cystine out of little subcellular particles which are called lysosomes. And the result of that, which might seem obscure and innocuous, uh, failure of normal physiology is uh, unremittent kidney failure, which starts in the first year of life and ends with total kidney failure by age 10 years. The children can be transplanted, but my work has been devoted to therapy, and we now have an approved one of the first orphan drugs called cysteamine, brand name Cystagon, which if started early in life, ideally less than one year of age, prolongs kidney function. It doesn't, av uh, doesn't avert kidney failure, but it does allow the child to retain function of their native kidney for at least 20 years, after which they can be transplanted and have a good result. And it also fends off the other uh, bad parts of the disease because it is multisystemic, and it fends off the difficulty swallowing, the difficulty breathing, the difficulty with the pancreas, with skeletal muscle, et cetera. So cystinosis has been my lifelong work. I've studied why cystine inside lysosomes makes you sick, and most recently, the possibility of protein replacement therapy, which was thought not to be possible because it results from a uh, transmembrane transport disorder, which can't ordinarily be cloned in a functional state. So people with cystinosis normally come to one of three centers, University of California, San Diego, NIH, or here at the University of Michigan. I am available to take calls to discuss the options with patients and anxious to see any patients who would like to come here. I also see patients with urea cycle disorders, totally different category of disease due to elevated ammonia, due to failure of the, the uh, liver to metabolize amino acids properly. <coughs> Excuse me. And I study organic acidemias, which result, again, in inborn errors of metabolism in the metabolism of certain compounds leading to too much acid in the blood. These children may have episodes uh, requiring hospitalization, they may have seizures, coma, a variety of things, but always uh, with the um, elevation of acid in the blood, which will lead them to medical care and often results in their referral to large institutions like this one, at which time our team is called in and, and we consult with the patients.